Hello and welcome to another quick drawing lesson. This week we're going to draw the classic Porsche 911. So as always try and draw lightly uh, for the beginning part and uh, use your whole arm to swing with to get a nice smooth curves and straight lines. So the first thing we'll do is a wheel over here and then we'll measure one, two and a quarter wheel, quarter wheels further back and draw another one. Now we need a nice straight line that starts level with the middle of the front wheel, but out in front. Cuts through, but with a slight slope, so it gets slightly higher at the back. So it cuts through the back wheel slightly higher. That's the kind of rake of your car, and it's also the top edge of the bumper. So about two thirds of the wheel out in front, draw a tiny curve. And make that into a box, that's your front bumper and about three quarters of wheel out the back. Um, a tiny curve, make it into a box, that's your back bumper. Um, now we need some indicators on there, so if you come back slightly from that, a slight slope, and come back about halfway between the wheel and the, and the uh, wheel and the front of the car, there's your front indicator. Same at the back here, except there you've got a vertical line for the back bumper indicator. Similar sort of height. Come back and then a slightly shorter one, just a slope there, that's your back indicator. Now we need a line that runs across the top of the wheels here for the wings. That's quite a tricky one, so you want to measure about a quarter of a wheel above your front wheel. And we need a straight line, well, almost straight line, but with the tiniest curve in it. So you're just using your arm to swing slightly as you draw it. See how it's just got an ever slightly higher point here than it has at the ends. That's what you want. We'll put the um, headlight in. So it's a bit steeper than your indicator. And the top edge needs to run into that top line there. Now this line, when it gets to level with the front of the back wheel, it needs to drop off and slope down to here. But he wants to do it nice and smoothly. It's easier if you turn your page. That's better. Uh, we'll put the bottom of the car in as well because it looks a bit weird at the moment. So that would be parallel to this line and halfway between there and the ground. Just put a line in there. And you can come back from the bumper slightly and drop that down so it meets that one. Same at the back, come down level with the indicator and drop that so it runs nicely into this. And the bottom part of your car, we can add the front edge of the door. And it looks like it's almost a vertical line, but it just put a slight curve into it by swinging your fingers like this. And we need to know where the windscreen starts and that's if you go half a wheel further back than the front wheel, come up to the top, that's going to be where the screen slopes. And the door will tilt round to meet it. And the height of that side window is, what's that, about two thirds of a wheel, something like that. It goes across a bit and then that also drops off, I'm going to tilt it again to meet that point down there. So you want a nice sweep, and that's your basic 911 shape, isn't it? Um, we can put the side windows in. So come to the middle of your back wheel, go up, and that's a bit as far back as your side windows will be. So the side windows follow the door, and then tilt, they don't drop down like this line does, they just, they start to tilt upwards. And they curve round at that point, and run in to these arcs at the roof line. It looks a bit steep there. It's because we haven't got the curve of the front screen in, so you can angle that front screen more and show the curve of the, bump, the bonnet and show that dipping off behind the headlight. And you can thicken up your roof slightly. Um, what else do I need? Oh, they We've got a quarter light, so we've got a small division there. And parallel to that one, we need another one 
back here for the back edge of the door. And the back edge of the door starts there, it curves around, and we need a line here that has the same sort of tilt as that, but again has a slight curve in it because it's on a curved side of a car. And the bottom edge of the door will be halfway between the bottom of the car and this line. So there's your door. Um, now we can drop the ground in, that would be a good thing to have. And we can start to make the car look a bit more beautiful, because at the moment it's just kind of laid out. We can start pressing a bit more firmly on these darker areas that be under the car. And we can show the wheels on the far side of the car, the shadow on the ground. Um, you might see the bottom of the engine and the exhaust sticking out under there. a bit of shading to these indicators because they're usually a bit darker. There aren't many details on this car, it's quite simple design, but there is a hole there for your um, torsion bars and there's a door handle here. You might see the seat just poking up inside and a, a wing mirror there. And you can just darken the inside of the underside of the roof over there. I'm just going to tilt this again, just to give the cabin some thickness between the front edge and the back edge. Just to hopefully make it feel a bit more three dimensional. And that's pretty much your basic 911. Um, you can customize it with ducktails and graphics. If you want to add the Carrera decals down the side, this line will be the top edge and the door will be the bottom edge. Line that. That's your basic 911 shape. Some windscreen wipers would be good. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments if you did and uh, tune in for another one next week.